I'm knitting the field sweater and I've just finished the one by one rib and I'm about to start doing a stockinette. So I've been knitting from this direction and I've just done the last purl stitch and I'm ready to change to my larger needle and start doing the stockinette section. I have noticed though that the side that the one by one rib that the side that I've been knitting from, I actually like it a little bit better on the reverse side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change direction and start knitting from the other direction. Because this is interchangeable, one side looks the same as the other, I can do that. I just wanna prevent having a, sh a hole here by doing a German short row. So one thing I'll notice is, uh, I'll just draw attention to as well, is I've done a tubular cast on, which means it looks the same from both sides. If I had done a long tail cast on, that wouldn't be the case and I would have a bunch of pearl bumps, so I might not wanna do that at that point, unless I'd done something else you know, beforehand and done like one row flat. So with the tubular cast on, I can change, because it looks the same, the cast on looks the same from this side as from this side, all I need to do is turn my work and start knitting onto the four millimeter needle from the other direction. But what I'll do is that I'll do a German short row. So for a German short row, I need to have the yarn on the front. I'm going to slip that stitch and then pull the yarn over and create a double stitch. I have to get that, it's gonna be a little awkward just get that needle out of the, out of the way because I'm knitting onto the larger needle. So I've created, just slip that first stitch with the yarn in front, pull the yarn over to create a double stitch, and I'll start knitting because the first row is just a straight knit, there's no increases. And I'm going to knit all the way around and then I'll place another marker here at the start of round and I'll need to make sure that when I knit that double stitch, I treat it as one stitch, not two. I've knit around the round and I've just got two stitches to go. Which I'll finish up. So now I've knit my first round and all the work is on the four millimeter needle and I'm ready to start the second round and that first stitch there that you can see is actually the double stitch. You can sort of see how it looks like that. So I'm just going to knit that stitch together, those that double stitch as one stitch and that's closed up the gap because I turned and went in the other direction and I'll just continue knitting and then I think I'm at the point now where I'm ready to start the increase round the knit to yarn over so I'll just continue on from there and what that has done just so you can see there I'm this I was knitting this from the complete opposite direction the ribbing was knit with this is the right side and now this is the right side and I so I've changed direction but I needed to do a German short row and when I, when I switched direction so that I didn't end up with a hole there. You can see there's like a tiny little loop there, um, but that's, I mean, that's the German short row has closed that up. 